To create a virtual clone, start by launching SeekBuilder. Then create a new cloning project. From the cloning project window, select the Inserts folder, and then add your insert sequences by going to File, Import Sequences to Project, or just drag and drop them into the folder. Next, select the cloning method you'd like to use from the cloning menu. SeekBuilder offers several cloning methods, including Gibson, Infusion, GeneArt, Gateway Multisite, TA, Topo, and Restriction Cloning. After selecting your cloning method, two new tabs will appear in your project window. Add your inserts to the Fragments section by dragging and dropping. Or, if you only want to clone a specific region of your sequence, you can open that sequence, select the area you want to clone, and then choose Cloning, Clone Selected Fragment. Next, choose your vector from our Cloning Vectors catalog. And note that you can also add a custom vector to the catalog if you wish. If necessary, linearize your vector by clicking this button and choosing Cut Sites. The menus here will automatically include only those enzymes that are unique in the vector and which will not cut the inserts. Click the Try It button to see a summary of the project as you have it set up. Here we see details about the fragment inserts, primers, the steps needed to prepare the vector and amplify the inserts, and you can also see the reading frame around all fragment junctions graphically, allowing you to verify whether promoters and genes are in sync. Click the Change button to return to the Clone tab to make changes, or click Make It to proceed with the cloning simulation. Once your virtual clones have been created, a new folder is added in your cloning project window. Depending on the method used, this folder may contain a copy of each insert and entry clone, as well as the finished expression clone that will be created after recombination occurs. Double-click on any file to open it in the document window. Click on the Cloning Summary view to view the same information that was displayed in the Summary tab during cloning. To learn more about our software and to see more videos like this one, please visit our website.